Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jesse the Planets. I know you're enjoying our YouTube videos. That's why you don't want to miss anything. So like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you will know when we post new content. That's like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Do it now, so watch this. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to Faith the Facts. I'm so excited that you watched this little five-minute segment, and I hope it's a blessing because we do it for your spiritual nutrition so you can understand what God is doing. And, you know, people say, how do you pick these things? Well, most of them I don't. Uh, 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 the, the lady that works for me, Chrissy, gives me all kinds of different subjects to talk about, and it's just such a blessing of the Lord. I want to talk about something that really I don't understand why anybody would take time to do that, and that is this. Why would you take time to be discouraged. Why? I mean, I mean, since you have a choice, you can take the dis off and be encouraged or, you know, courageous. See what I'm saying? Yet so many people take time to be discouraged. I love what Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 says. It says this, Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid. This is God talking to Joshua. Neither be thou dismayed. Now, there's a bunch of things in that. He said, first, I didn't suggest this. I commanded this. Number one, be strong. Number two, and of good courage. Number three, be not afraid. And number four, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Now, you know, Joshua was facing a pretty big thing. He was going over to the promised land. And you, you got the Philistines there. You got a bunch of people that don't want you to come. But yet God was with him. Yeah, and people don't seem to understand. I know th life's not easy. I mean, it is, you know, some, and, and religion is a garden of weeds. We know that. But you know what? If I'm going to take time, I might as well take time to encourage myself. The Bible said that David encouraged himself in the Lord. You can't just look at yourself in a mirror and go, okay, you're going to have a good day today. Okay. No, no, no. We're not talking about it. We're talking about encouraging yourself in the Lord. In the Lord, you see, and so why would you take time to be discouraged? Because when you try to discourage yourself, I mean, you're not using God's principles in your life at all. When God wants to be blessed, wants to bless you in the city, bless you in the field, bless you going in, bless you going out. Listen to this wonderful scripture in Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 8. And the Lord, he it is that doeth go before thee. He will be with thee. He will not fail thee. Boy, I like that. Neither forsake thee. Fear not, and neither be dismayed. I've said it so many times, i got to say it again. So many people are just amazed at how much joy I got. Well, <laughs> the joy of the Lord is my strength. You know, I, got a ch I, mean, I have a choice to be weak. I have a choice to be strong. Now, to be weak is to be in fear and discourage myself, and oh, I'm never going to do this. Or receive the joy of the Lord, which is the strength of God, and be blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed going in, blessed going out. That doesn't mean things don't happen to me. That doesn't mean uh, life is easy for me, because it's not. I, it isn't. I mean, you know, you work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Not that you're afraid, but with respect and awe of who God is. Think about that. Let me read what he said, he said again to Joshua. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. So. You know, I knew he was with Joshua everywhere he went. Now, let me say this. He's with Jesse everywhere he goes. And I go a lot. And I tell you what, man, when I say go a lot, I mean, uh, by the time you see this, I'll be preaching somewhere. I'm going all the time. It's just, it just part of what God is saying and doing. So I encourage myself in the Lord since I have the opportunity or the choice. I refuse to be discouraged. I don't deny what I see. I deny it's right to affect me. Do you understand what I'm saying? So what I do, I have been called to the body of Christ into the fivefold ministry, the apostle, the prophet, the evangelist, the pastor, the teacher. I call that the executive branch of God's government. Well, there are a lot of people will come to me and ask for advice. Well, I can't say, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, and uh, we have a, a, a Cajun statement. My mom used to say, when you, if you start pouting a little bit as a, as a child, Quit boo dead, boy. You're boo dead. <laughs> you know, the lip was all like that, all that kind of stuff. I, I don't have time for that. I can't. In other words, I, I, I can't show weakness. Why? Because the Bible said, let the weak say I'm strong. 
Ooh, glory. That doesn't mean weakness don't try to come at me, but I refuse to do it. See, when God calls you to be a leader, you can't be weak. You got to stand up, buddy, and do what you have to do. So do that. And so why would you take time to be discouraged? So take time today and encourage yourself in the Lord. Quote scripture to yourself and watch you feel your spirit renew your mind and your body will go, man, this is going to be a good day today. Faith that fact and you'll have a glorious day today. God bless. This media is copyrighted by Jesse Duplantis Ministries for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this media or of any pictures or accounts without Jesse Duplantis Ministries' consent is strictly prohibited.